Hi Aries, welcome to your next 48 tarot card reading. I hope you're doing great. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the cards. So we're going to do next 48. Basically, it's going to be through Wednesday. Energies for Aries, Holy Angels and Spirits. What are the energies that, or the messages that Aries needs to see? So the sun is going to be fully in Aries with the equinox. Um, moving into spring. And the birds are really loud outside, which is really interesting. It's like super loud. But we'll see what we have. A six of air. So six of air is symbolic of moving out of pain, moving out of conflict, and it's smooth sailing is ahead of you. But it also means you're blocking. There's some energy of putting up a barrier in words and communication with someone. Now, crossing it is a four of swords, which is resting after um, a hard time. So there was some kind of painful event. Painful words, painful time, painful situation, basically, that you're withdrawing from. And I feel like you're saying never again. <laughs> Never again. Like, whatever this is, I'm not going to have this conversation again. I'm not engaging in this situation. We have strength here, which means you, the maiden and the lion. So the maiden controls the lion. You may have been dealing with somebody aggressive, um, someone who was hostile. Strength is not, strength is feminine. Um... Control of the, an energy that's out of control. So you're being the peaceful one by leaving or by not engaging. It shows great inner strength. Okay, seven of pentacles in the recent past. Thinking about what to do with, with your funds. So accumul accumulating wealth. And then trying to make a wise decision. Um, we have three of rods. Self-motivation. So you are going to be moving forward. This is about nothing is going to hold you back here. You're very strong. You're very resilient. Whatever this four of swords. It's minor arcana. But the strength to me says it was like a test of your patience or your strength. You had to show um, self-control when somebody else did not you could also be dealing with a leo and three of rods can be you're avoiding or ignoring a person but it's really about the sun and aries which is self-motivation self thinking towards the future you're like well i'm just going to focus on me and building my 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 castle my you know company i'm building myself What's coming into the future? The Knight of Cups. So you get a good offer. You get, um, it could be you expressing love to someone. It could be someone else expressing love to someone. There's feelings. It's an invitation. It's sort of a, it's an olive branch. Aries. Next 48. Wow, so you come up Emperor Aries. You come up really super strong. Aries as Emperor is divine. Um, it's not divine masculine. It's actually um, the energy of combination of first decan Taurus, third decan Aries. So it's really like third decan Aries where you have a combination of Taurus energy where you're strong, you're resilient, you are slow moving, methodical, and um, you don't overreact. You're just strong. The strength card and the emperor here with the three of rods. Knight of cups comes in though. What's coming into the environment? You're just sort of ruling over your empire. 
we have the lovers. We have a message or we have an offer of love or a union. It could be an apology of some kind. Knights sort of make an invitation or a gesture. Okay, this freaking nine of cups. <laughs> You're hoping for a four, which I don't really... It's like, I think you just want things to remain stable and calm and peaceful. I don't think you want to blow someone off, but you might. I don't know. We get a nine and a two together. So we get a nine of cups. The wish comes true. The wish is fulfilled. A big celebration. It's, you know, the energy of parties and, you know, a celebration. There is a union here with a person. There's a two of cups. There is something about two people expressing feelings. Here's my ace. Here's my ace. Um, two people giving each other an ace of cups. So it's almost like ace of rods. It's exciting. Something exciting and new. Hmm, the sun comes out. Happiness, joy, success. Energies of Leo are here, but it also shows you blocking and moving on. Okay, the lovers is in the environment. You're coming up as emperor for your own energy. There's a knight of cups coming in towards you. So what is the lovers? Lovers is major arcana for unions, blessings, uh, chemistry. The five of cups, okay. Well, we do have this night. So there may have been something that went wrong. It was a disappointment. It was hurt feelings, sadness, loss. That's why there's four of swords in the crossing. What is the knight of cups? What is the knight of cups? Wow. So we have a queen of rods and a nine of pentacles. This is all, this is Aries energy, but it could be an earth sign, but this is about doing very well for yourself, being very successful, focusing on your confidence, focusing on, you know, having financial security and stability, maintaining confidence. You're also holding your own ace of wands. So you're like, well, I can make it happen if I want to. I can be successful. I can make my ace of wands happen. You took the ace of wands, you made it happen. Nine of Pentacles, a life of... Somebody comes towards you, though. Could be, like I said, it could be an apology for this Four of Swords, Five of Cups. You're still Emperor. Nine of Cups and Two of Cups. A wish comes true. There's a lot of feelings involved right here. What is Three of Rods? Three of Rods. What is three of rods? Staying motivated, staying, making a choice to go ahead and go forward and stay motivated. Definitely not giving up in any way. Because that four of swords is like, there was something, okay, eight of pentacles, focusing on the details, and an eight of cups, two eights, so 88. So scrutinizing, looking at the details of something. This could also be looking for other employment, Eight of Cups, where you, you want to walk away. But there is a union right here. There's a partnering. Wow, Page of Pentacles comes in. There's an offer of a pentacle. You receive a message regarding this pentacle, this ace, this new opportunity. And that brings you in this Nine of Cups, Two of Cups feeling. What is strength here? What is strength? Resilient, self-control, controlling your own emotions, or maintaining control around someone who's not in control. The Ace of Rods. There's something here about a spark. A spark of inspiration. I almost feel like it could be a trigger as well. Ace of Rods can be triggered. Ace of Rods. What is this? Ace of Rods. Ace 
Ace of Rods and String. Five of Air. See, there's a trigger because the Five of Swords is like a conflict. It's a person who wants to fight and be divisive. So you ignore them and you focus on being your best self. Hermit card. You could be getting advice from someone. Um, the Hermit is wise. You could also be withdrawing your energy, pulling back your energy. So Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Page, page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles? They're bringing you an offer that's real. What is the Page of Pentacles? Wow, Emperor Energy again. This could be a promotion for you at work as well. Because your energy comes up as power. What is the Three of Cups? Three of Rods, rather. You're turning your back on a situation because really your heart's not in it. You, you, the feelings aren't there. Eight of Pentacles. Heart Chakra. Focusing on your um, heart and your feelings and your feelings of love. We have Magician Awareness. So that's um, manifesting your own environment. That is the energy of, you know, changing your situation. Wow, there's the devil with temptation. What is this? Being aware maybe of someone who's manipulative. What is the lovers and the five of cups? Okay, maintaining balance. The light will shine again here with the sun. And what is Nine of Cups for Aries? Wow. Hold on, please. <laughs> Hold on, please. What is the Nine of Cups? Moving on. Some of you are going to be quitting a job or you feel like quitting a job or you're moving on from a relationship. Okay, what's coming in for Aries with this moving on? Wow, so we got Nine of Cups again, the Fulfillment of Wishes, the Nine of Cups. So you're moving on to something better. There is this heartache and loss that came out. Um, that's the crossing energy. There's something painful, accelerated motion, something starts else starts to happen that's much better. Uh, so your wishes are fulfilled. You come out of a hard time. You focus on being confident and a leader. Nine of Pentacles is here with the nine Knight of Cups. You receive an invitation or an offer that's much better for you. Aries energy, next two days, Aries energy. And if any of you feel like you're mad on your birthday, I wonder if it's because Sun and Aries is masculine energy of fire, yang, in the house of God of war. So it could just be sparking you or triggering you. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just like you have extra fire. Come to the edge. Thinker. Go the distance. And having a deep sense of knowing. Okay. Following your intuition basically is what that's about. Follow your intuition. Okay, Aries, thank you very much for watching your next 48. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Please check my website, starseed1111.com. Um, I have new jewelry items. Thank you so much and take care.